podcast. It's local government. There's always diverse right? Right. You gotta have views it. and opinions and yeah. details. Exactly. Okay, so um, can I have you step a half inch that way? Thank you. Am, am, am I looking at the lens, the light, your eyes? Um, you can look at me. Okay. It's fine. Okay, so we're going to do a sound check, and um, I'm recording, so just uh, give your name and your position first. Uh, I'm Rory Watt, and I am the city manager for the city and borough of Juneau. Okay. You can talk a little louder if you want. Ron, you want to hold the microphone a little closer? <clears throat> I can also talk louder. Okay. So the first question about um, the Boundary Commission, annexes, four tracks, uh, and Goon's not happy about it. What's your message? What's your stand? What's your message to the community? Uh, with re regard to annexation, um, this is really the start of the process. So the local boundary commission uh, has a lot of work to do, and uh, I'd acknowledge it's not an easy issue. Um, Juno is doing uh, its part under the state structure of governance uh, and trying to bring uh, land in the state under borough control. And we've made our best effort to identify lands that uh, have significant uh, historical, cultural, economic connection to Juno. Um, that said, there's room for a lot of debate on the issue, uh, and we welcome that. Uh, we will be submitting an application to the Boundary Commission this spring. Uh, they will hold extensive public meetings, and we've requested a legislative review, which would happen at next legislative session. Um, but the, I think the big picture is, is that Juno provides a lot of local government services uh, that are used by landowners uh, inside and just outside the borough uh, and receive substantial benefit. And, and we've tried to identify the, the lands that most appropriately fit in the Juno borough. Very good. Okay, so what do you have to say about the $250,000? <coughs> to support cruise ships, legal expenses. Can you provide an update or as to where this currently stands? So we are in court with CLIA on uh, litigation on the uh, imposition, uh, collection, and expenditure of passenger fees. Uh, you know, and any time you're in litigation, uh, things are broken down. Um, and, you know, we own a part of that, and, and I won't uh, hide from that. But it is a very important legal question um, for Juno, for the industry, for other cruise ship port towns. We all need to know the rules of the road. Um, and these are issues, uh, what the, the jurists would call a first impression. The courts have not decided. Uh, Juno, I think, has done a responsible job of developing port infrastructure, um, developing fees. We think we're acting appropriately. Uh, industry representatives are, are representing industry views. I think they feel like they're acting appropriately. Um, this is one of those issues where um, knowing the rules uh, would be a benefit to all parties. Uh, that all said, I think we have a lot of shared interests, um, and we've been trying to focus on uh, regional readiness. Uh, we've spent a lot of time and money developing our cruise ship uh, infrastructure, um, but if the other ports in the region aren't ready, um, that's not good for us, and that's not good for the region, and that's not good for the industry. So we're, we're trying to uh, find a path forward where uh, southeast towns and even beyond southeast can, can find a way to develop appropriate infrastructure for the industry, uh, and we can all enjoy the economic benefits. That would be Alaskans and uh, the cruise ship companies together. Very good. Okay. I love the headphones. Those are cool. Oh. What, what's the picture? Um, actually, it's Empire from Fox. Yeah, oh, it's just neat. TV series. Yeah. yeah. TV series on Fox. So, all right. So, how are you feeling about public safety funding, which has been a top priority by the state legislature? Well, we yeah, we are very concerned um, at the local level as well. So, uh, our police department and uh, our fire EMS services. Um, as well are all funded by our, our local property tax. Uh, we've certainly had an increase in property crime. Uh, we're struggling uh, with homelessness. 
Um, we're struggling with the consequences of uh, drugs and addiction. Um, and we're, we're focusing very hard on being able to appropriately fund our uh, public safety um, local police and local uh, fire EMS services. Um, we've had a, a special subcommittee working on that topic. Uh, we're looking at ways to stabilize our workforce, uh, perhaps increase our budget. Um, and and uh, it's a high priority for our assembly. Yeah. Um especially the homelessness yeah. as far as, um, you know, crime, like downtown and everything like I won't even go downtown at night or when it's dark by myself because it's scary. But. It's, our, you know, our downtown has changed. I mean, we have, to, we have to admit that we're working hard on that in all kinds of different ways. Um, this year we opened up uh, our Housing First project, Forget Me Not Manor, um, where 32 people, uh, homeless people with severe uh, chronic inebriation, uh, were able to move into supportive housing. That, that's helped. Um, this winter, we've also opened up a warming shelter, a cold weather emergency warming shelter on, on cold nights. Um, that, that has helped that population as well. Um, it's a difficult, um, resource-intensive problem. Um, people like to say about homelessness, uh, uh, many causes and many solutions. And ultimately, the solutions, um, it's a lot of one-on-one -on -one social work uh, helping people through um, their struggles to find a, a better path. That's good to know that you, you know, I didn't realize you were doing that. That's oh, good. God, yeah, we spend a lot of time on, awesome. on homelessness. Perfect. And so the last thing she wants to ask is basically what do you want the viewers to, to know, statewide and in general? Uh, I, I want the viewers to know that, uh, you know, down here at City Hall, we're trying our hardest to give uh, responsive and efficient services to our citizens and, you know, balance that, that uh, need of, uh, you know, things that they like, enjoy, need with the level of taxation that they're able to support. Um, we've got a diverse array of uh, municipal services and we try really hard um, to be as effective and responsive as we can. Um, we're certainly open to comment and criticism um, and, and we just, uh, we work hard at it and that's uh, city staff uh, and our locally elected officials. It's, it's an unending task and, and we invite people to come and participate and help guide us in that, that quest. Well, thank you very much. I think you did excellent.